Alright guys, today we're going to be doing some uh, GT5 PC here, and that was just my phone going off. As soon as I start recording it, my phone of course has to go off. Well, there we go. Turned it off. Alright, so we're going to be doing some GT5 PC, and this is on my new Alienware laptop here. And my phone's still going off. Just throw that over there. And yes, I did just throw my phone at a bag. But the... This is my new Alienware. It's running GTA 5 amazingly, actually. I didn't think a laptop would run it this good, but you might be able to hear the fans because I've been playing for like two and a half hours probably on this, so it's pretty hot. That's why I'm also using a controller because the keyboard gets really hot because of the processor 980M in it. I'll have all my uh, specs of this computer in the description so you can uh, see what they're like. This has the 16 gigs of RAM and... Uh, the 980M with the i7 6820HK, I think it is. I think that's it. This is the Alienware 17, so it's got the 17.3 inch screen, and that was a fail. Hopefully, you can hear me fine because uh, I haven't messed with the audio or recorded anything other than this yet. This is the first time I'm recording on this computer, and it seems like. And you can still use Shadow Play on this because it's still a GTX card. And it seems like the recording's not messing with the frame rate at all. It seems about the same. 86. It's staying around 70s to 80s. The only problem I had with GTA 5 on this so far is that it'll crash in loading screens. I don't know if it's the computer or I think it might actually be the games having problems because the servers have been going down a lot recently because of the uh, attacks and everything. DDoS. And I'm going to their own garage, I think. No, I'm not. This is PC, so I have four garages now. This is the uh, all the low riders. I don't have low riders yet on Xbox, but this is just after the Christmas update. I didn't buy anything in it yet. I might try to buy the new hot rod in it, the whatever it is, the car from GTA 4. But this is gonna be a garage tour video too, and just of all my garages now. I haven't did one of those since like. 360. So we're gonna start off in my newest garage here with let's go first person. Oh uh, yeah, and I'm also using an Xbox controller with the wireless Xbox adapter thing. So we'll start in this garage with the first car I got. The this is the faction here. Got this like hot rod red paint job on it with all these this pinstripes on it. Glass roof, all black windows and hydraulics all the way. Then I got the van over here. Uh, this is a bunch of skull paint job on it, and it's red, and it's got the little roof piece. It's got all the speakers in the back of it. Uh, hydraulics all the way up. It's got red wheels on it. Then here's my Buccaneer, orange, like flame orange, with that interior in it. This van has like all red plastic interior, but this has hydraulics all the way. Also, they all have hydraulics all the way. Uh, it's got a little bug catcher scoop on it. It's got these bigger tires on it. Um, these little feelers on the side that I think the stock Buccaneer has them. But yeah, I also put these little plates on the back of my cars that say Los Santos. Or that says Los Santos. This one my friend created for me because I just had it in my garage. So he's like, alright, let's make it pink. And I'm like, alright. And I don't have enough money to change it, but it's alright how it looks. I'm pretty sure he upgraded it all the way and everything. Then I have this car he also created too. This is more like a Halloweenish looking car because it's green and like lime green and black. Can't tell. I think this is like a metallic purple in it or something or pearlescent purple with the clear hood and some pinstripes on it. And then this the last one, the Chino over here. I actually created this in a video. If you want to watch that, that's probably the last video I have on the channel. That's what where my last computer is broken. So uh, let's go to the next garage. Next one I think will be the third one I bought. We'll just go from the newest to oldest. We'll take this van too, just to show off the hydraulics some. a little bit of the hydraulics. Mm. It doesn't have very good turning. Mm. 
Where's my third garage? I think it's that one up there. Try to bounce the van a little bit more. If I could. There we go. That's all this van does. Oh yeah, I still have a custom horn on almost all my low riders, I think. Mm. That happened. Uh, okay. I guess that's what happens if you hit hydraulics going in midair. Let's go in this garage now. So here we go, here's my... I'm pretty sure I showed all these cars before or not. This is my Turismo over here. Just all chrome Turismo, you can walk on top of it. I don't think there's anything special about it, it's upgraded all the way. And my Corvette over here. Whatever it's called in the game, the Coquette or something. I'm pretty sure this is the stock color it came with, I just upgraded it all the way. My Carbon RS bike over here. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's upgraded all the way. This is one of the ones that you get with the collector's edition of GTA, or if you upgraded GTA. Then this is another one, same deal with that one. This is an electric car, actually. Then we have the free car over here in GTA, this GTR looking car. Then we have this truck from the heist update. It's red with like a chrome secondary, so all the like bumper and everything is chrome on it. Pretty sure that's upgraded all the way too. If you can take that into LS Customs, uh, Salt and RS. This is the car that you find that just looks like some stock little car that you upgrade, and it's like an amazing car. Then here's from the motorcycle from the Patriot the update, the Fourth of July update that you don't think you can buy anymore until they release the update again. And here's just this Camaro over here, this Ponte Rona. I don't think it's upgraded any. I found it actually like this with these colors and everything. Then we have the Entity XF over here. This is just another supercar. This is the one I think. It's either really good at acceleration or turning. I think it's good at turning. So we can go to my next apartment. Which would be the one that has, I think, my adder in it. I'll take this motorcycle because I never drive it. And ramp. So I've already showed two. Actually, no, wait. My other one would be the one that has, like, the high life DLC cars and stuff. So I just gotta drive all the way across the map. So, yeah, this game seems to be performing pretty good on this computer. It hasn't gone below 70 frames since I started recording. The lowest FPS I ever got so far is like 57, and that's because like a bunch of stuff happened. And I also bought a few more games because it's the Steam Winter Sale, and I had a couple hundred bucks in my Steam account, so I bought like Fallout 4 and Sniper Elite V2 and 3. So I guess I'll be playing those games too later. And I have Terraria now and Payday the Heist that I could be playing. So yeah, I got like a bunch of Steam games from this sale. So here's this garage. This has got the uh, Dukes, is what this is called, in th I think, in Ponte Dukes. This is a car from GT4 that they had in it. I put the... It's all black with the American flag on the roof and the three scoop bug catcher thing. Side pipes and a wheelie bar. Then we got the Cheetah over here. This is an old car in GTA. I think this came with the stock game. This is like the first supercar in the game. That's just matte black. Looks like a Batmobile. And then this is uh, Infernus from another car from GTA 4. Pretty sure this was in the stock game too. Pretty sure this is upgraded all the way and everything. I think this, I've had this since like the 360, it was probably in my last garage tour video. And then here's the Zentorno, it's all chrome, with a big wing on the back. Uh, my Buffalo S, 
This is Franklin's Buffalo from Story Mode. It's just matte black with a red secondary. I don't know if the engine's upgraded or not. It might be. And here's my uh, Phoenix. It's got the big wing on the back and the bug catcher scoop and the top open like that. Then we have my truck over here. This truck's just a drift missile thing. It has no tracks and it just drifts immediately as soon as you drive it out to the apartment. It's got the wood bed. Yeah, it's like a Harley truck color, like an orange and black. Then we got my first GTA Online car over here. The um, Sabre Turbo. Got this upgraded all the way with the wheelie bars in black. and This is actually the color I found it in black and that like cream secondary. And then we have the Sand King over here. It's green and chrome. This is actually made to look like my truck in real life. It looks pretty close to it, except for this bar in the back. The wheels are close enough as you can get in this game. The bumper, it's not really like that. It doesn't have that big grill piece on it. And then this car, um, don't worry about how I got it after Valentine's Day update. Don't worry about that, but I have it somehow. It's black and green. So yeah, we'll go check out my next garage now. Pretty sure this will be my last garage. This is my third one I just did. It's getting really hot, I can tell. I'm still running the game fine. I unplugged my mic. I don't know if you can hear me since I plugged it back in. I hope so. This is probably one of my favorite cars in GTA just because of how rare it is to get it. Because you can only get it for like a week or something. So yeah, I'll be recording probably some more videos today after I upload this one. Probably do like Fallout 4 or Sniper Elite or something. One of my new games. Or even Black Ops 3 on PC now that I can actually play that. Whoa. There's an Inferno sitting there. Did that just leave the lights on? It did. It left these little lights on. They have reflection or something. Wait. I'm at the wrong garage, aren't I? I am. I forgot how much game better this game is since I've been playing on Xbox for like two or three months since my computer broke. Just it runs better and uh, it looks a lot better too. So here we are in my last garage. This is the first apartment I had in GTA Online. So we'll go inside here. still can't use thumbnails on YouTube because of that freaking ban that I got or something. Don't know how that happened. So here we are. Here's my uh, Karuma armored upgraded all the way. This car's pretty fast for being a fully armored car. Then here we go. I have my Vapid Blade. I completely forgot I had this car. Then we have the Hot Knife over here. This is another one of those cars you can only get with the Collector's Edition of GTA. And, uh... Upgrade all the way. Then we have my uh, Vajero over here. That's like a Camaro in real life. Then we have a Mustang over here. The uh, Dominator in this game. Then we have my Bullet. Black. And this is actually the stock color. It came with black and that like grayish blue. Then we have my Adder over here. And my Money Sign Rams. It's like a... There's like a freaking almost pinkish red color with ice white stripes on it. Then we have my old Bugatti over here, the uh, Z-Type. That's like 20 million dollars or something in freaking story mode. Then we have the Mercenary Jeep over here. That's the easiest thing to get now. It used to be really hard to get in this game. 